Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm a Baptist yoga teacher in Singapore. Uh, I'm I was supposed to teach a 12 p.m. class today. Uh, unfortunately, it got cancelled. And uh, what I wanted to do was to do my own self-practice, but I didn't feel like it. And well, it's like a, it's now like one o'clock and I woke up at nine. I've been wanting to do my self-practice since nine. So, so right now, what am I gonna do? I'm committed to do at least a 20 to 30 minutes self-practice and I'd like you to join me in my home. Uh, yeah, this is the best place I can actually put a camera and a mat. Uh, I hope you can see me as I move along. So uh, yeah, shall we start? So let, let's get into a child's pose. So child's pose, so sit on your heels, have your knees as wide as the mat, big toes to touch. Okay, you're gonna put your, walk your hand to the front of your mat, and then put your forehead down the mat. And you're gonna stay there, and then just listen to my voice. Yeah, you're gonna breathe in and out of your nostril. You bring your attention to your breath. And um, yeah, get into your ujjayi breath. And then breathing in with your mouth closed, creating that hard sound at the back of your throat. You have to get a breath in to get a breath out. Yeah, breathe in. Breathe out. Now on your own, three more breaths. Come up to your hands and your knees, so tabletop position. Tuck your toes under. Hip, knees are hip distance apart and directly underneath your hips. Hands are underneath your shoulder. You can do a couple of cat and cow on your own. Okay, there's the arching of the back and the rounding on the spine. So when you round the spine, you exhale. When you arch your back, you inhale. Slowly bend the elbows. Exhale, drop the chin around the upper back, near the back, lower back. So tailbone now going towards your knees. Then push your hips back. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, look forward. Give a little arch. <laughs> exhale, you're gonna round and drop your tailbone to your knees. Gonna round your lower back, near the back, upper back. Yeah, chin is still to your chest as you go forward. Keep Bringing your chin to your chest only when your hips drop, you can lift your heart, lift your chin. This is inhale, stretch the toes. Exhale, round. So from the upper back, so drop the chin. Round the upper back, inner back. Exhale to the lower back. Bring your hips to your heel. Inhale, look forward. A little arch here. Exhale, come forward and round the spine from the tailbone, rounding. Do the middle back, upper back, bring your shoulders above your waist, drop the hips, hit the last thing to come up, inhale, lift the heart. Good, and then let's go find down your facing dog. Take an inverted D with your body, your hands are shoulder distance apart, slightly wider, so maybe your baby fingers touching the edge of the mat, so you can hold on to your, the edges of your mat if you start to slip. Yeah, so grounding down the four corners of your palms, spreading your fingertips out. Now look at your feet, take this hip distance apart, feet are, is at 12 o'clock, 
bend the knee, soften the knee, slip the tailbone up, belly button to your spine. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Again, breathe in, breathe out. One more breath in, exhale out. And then you're gonna, you're gonna come forward to a high plank, inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Come forward, inhale, high plank. Hug your, uh, hug your arms towards the midline. Exhale, downward dog. Take three more times, inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Two more, inhale. Put the belly button in, shoulders above the wrist, high plank, exhale, downward facing up. Last one, high plank, inhale, downward dog, exhale. <laughs> yeah, good. Stay here for three more breaths. Together, lift your right leg up to the ceiling, bend the knees, open up the hips. Yeah, first drop your left heel down as you stretch your right knee towards the ceiling. You're gonna push the floor away with your hands, right? And then square the shoulders, so lift the uh, left elbow towards the ceiling. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Now inhale, lift the left heel even higher, lift the right knee up higher, one more breath. And then right knee down, left leg up, bend the knees open. First drop the right heel down, you can see from here, then open the left hip to the side, left knee to the sky. Stretch the back of your right calf. Breathe in, yeah, breathe out, yeah, balance both shoulders, so left shoulder down, right shoulder up. And then the right heel up to the ceiling, left knee up higher, one more breath. And then left and up. And then take a full breath in. Full breath out. And look forward. You're going to step your right foot forward. Drop your knee down. Lift your arms up to the ceiling. Take your hands behind your head. And so you're going to just press your left forward. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. Breathe out, bring your shoulders down. Again, breathe in, press your hips forward more, breathe out. Yeah, one more breath in, inhale. Yeah. Left hand down, right hand up. The simple twist here, breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, keep pressing like your left hip down, breathe in. Yeah, look up, breathe out. Hug your inner thighs to the midline, inhale. Right hand down, downward facing dog. Left foot forward. Hmm. Right hand down. <laughs> Anjuna Yasana. And behind your hip. Oopsie. <laughs> and then press your right hip down, breathe in. Lean back, let your hand out, breathe out. Yeah, bring your little back bend here, breathe in. Press your hip against your hand, press your hand back against your hand. One more breath here, inhale. And then right hand down, left hand up to the sky, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep twisting, breathe in. Hands down, downward facing down. Full breath in, full breath out. Step your right foot forward again one more time. This time round, you'll turn out your right toes, drop your left knee down first. Turn out your right toes so that it's at a right angle. Yeah. And then we're gonna, we're gonna lift the right inner arches up. This way, so you're opening up the right hip to the side. You breathe in. Yeah, breathe out. Oof. <laughs> breathe in, very spicy. <laughs> breathe out. Yeah, one more breath in. Yeah, and then downward facing up. 
your toes as you reach your right hip back. Yeah, breathe in. Yeah, breathe out. Long spine, breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath here, inhale. Bend the right knee, right foot back, downward facing up. Left foot forward, oh, you drop the right knee down, straighten the left leg. And then we'll inhale, lift the heart, bend the left. Exhale, straighten the left. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah, three more times. Inhale, lift the heart. Just mobilizing the hip joint. Exhale. And three more. In, two more. Sorry. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And stay here. How you doing? <laughs> Flex your toes, lengthen your spine. Yeah, just one more breath. Yeah, and then we're facing up. <laughs> the full breath in. Yeah, bend on your knees, full breath out. Yeah, and then you're gonna step your right foot forward. Okay, you're gonna turn out your toes, like what we did in the second set. Right? So 45 degrees, and you're gonna step your left foot to the left. And then also turn up into get into a malasana. Okay, so it's uh, step back. Yeah, the toes turn out. Uh, arms will be pressing against the leg, leg press against the hand. Okay, you'll stay there. Breathe in. Whew. Breathe out. What's stretching? Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep pressing arm against the hand, and again the arm breathe in. Yeah. Breathe out. Yeah, and then we're gonna do something like a squat. <laughs> something silly, let's try this. I never meant for this to be about legs, but let's do this, okay? So you're gonna lift the hips halfway up, you to the height of your knees, and then you're gonna come down. Okay, let's squeeze the butt and then come down. Then lift the squeeze and down, squeeze and down, squeeze. Yeah, and this is what we call talking. So talking goes faster, go up, up, poof, up. Up, 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 and let's do <laughs> Ow, up, up, squeeze the arms, pull the legs, leg to the arms, lift to the hips, up, 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 up. Just one more breath. Inhale, way, exhale. Okay, good. Just let's take a sit down. Way, with the legs up. Let's do rest space. Yes, good. Why not call work with legs for you? Okay. Oh yeah, this is really weird because like, usually when I teach practice yoga, I do not demonstrate. So now I'm demonstrating and I'm teaching, it's really, it's, 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 it's weird. It's a bit uncomfortable because I'm not too sure whether, because I, when I self-practice, I don't really talk to myself, right? <sighs> yeah, just catch your breath, inhale. Yeah, push your fingertips forward, exhale. You're gonna stay here, breathe in, lift the heart. Ooh, exhale. Just one more breath and inhale. Good. Exhale. 
elevation legs up high. Good, and then let's find a simple leg extension. Lift the toes to your face, put your hands forward. And breathe. I don't, know what, I don't know what to call this class. Let's call this class the uh, mm, afternoon lunchtime fix. <laughs> or last lunchtime stretch, I guess. Yeah. Breathe. Okay, yeah. So, lunchtime fix. We're going to lunchtime fix. Okay, that's it. Let's just switch sides. Let's do something, okay? So, before we switch, let's go find a uh, boat pose first. Inhale, lift the toes up. And then switch legs. Why not? Yeah, I'm just winging it as you probably know. <laughs> ah, this is so strange. I don't have, I don't have a sequence in my head. There with Baptist yoga, there is a fixed sequence. But like, uh, I think if I go into the into the Baptist sequence, won't be able to see me. So I have to find a way to kind of, uh, but find space actually. <laughs> so like I'm trying my best to keep everything to work on the floor. Yeah, just for you. Okay, and then let's uh, find both again. Yeah, breathe in. And then both legs forward. Inhale. Exhale, fall. Oh yeah, as you can see, I'm wearing my tight hand shoe. <laughs> the thing is, well, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know whether you can hear me. I'm not using any mic, but hopefully you can. Yeah, I'm gonna start being distracted and stretch the back of my calves. Ow! Yeah, you can bend your knees. <laughs> you can bend your knees if you like. Yeah, you can focus on lengthening the spine. Or you can straighten the legs, broaden the back of the knees. And then you just pull your chest forward. No choice. You don't have to be flexible to do yoga. Yeah, look at me. Okay, let's do that. Do another one. Uh, boat pose. Let's go. Boat pose. Okay, let's uh, breathe in. Let us do double pigeon. Yeah, so your option for double pigeon is. Either, uh, okay, let's do the actual one. The actual one will be the left shin down, parallel to the front of your mat, and then right shin on top of the left. Yeah, can you see this? So just make sure they're parallel and the hips are actually toward, the knees are towards each other rather than open. So you want your right ankle to be above the thigh. And you can see the bony part is above the thigh. Yeah, so if, you, if your legs are going up like that, it's fine. I'm going to just throw your hands behind your back and lift your heart up. And you can just walk your hands forward to your hips and lean forward. You can feel it there. Yeah, the full one will be walking your hands forward, belly to thigh. Hate that. Yeah, and if this is again a struggle for you, you can just do the modified version. Left heel down on the mat. Right, again, right ankle over the thigh. And just press the shin to chest. <laughs> shin to chest, chest to shin. Let's do boat again. Low pose. Favorite pose, I feel like maybe not with the heart. Yeah, and then we switch your legs. So right shin under, left shin over. Oof. Okay, do what you want to do. So you can modify. Right, so right foot on the floor. Lift the heart to shin, shin to heart. Your hands behind you. Oh, hands just make sure they're parallel if you're doing the full double pigeon. Yeah. We always don't make time to stretch, do we? We always keep moving, like go to the gym, do power yoga, do Pilates. We don't really make time to stretch. So like, yeah, maybe this this is for me too. Yeah, breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. Go. Okay, you're gonna open your legs out to the side. Oof, the opposite here. Yeah, everything's good. <laughs> okay, flex your toes to your face. Lift your left hand up and then stretch it to the right. So what I want you to do from here is uh, can you open your left rib cage to the ceiling? So what might help is like uh, bringing your left hand behind your back. Do that first. Okay, let's do this. Bring your left hand behind your back. I'm going to open the left, look at the sky, left shoulder point up towards the ceiling. I'm going to breathe in. I'm going to breathe out. Yeah, I'm going to keep 
the spine long. So your four, your top of your head is pointing towards the direction of your heel. You can reach your top arm from here. Yeah, if it's there for you, you can drag hold of your toes. Your right toes, if not, just stay where you want. You're stretching the left and on the left arm, feet, shoulder blades together. Just one more breath. Coming back to the center. The switch side. So we're gonna start with the your right hand up, left hand behind you. Yeah, and let's open up for so far. A little twist. And the twist and lateral bend here to the sides. We're stretching the obliques. Opening up the chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, and when you're ready, your top arm goes towards the left toe. Then you have a little flexible on the side. Yes! Like you're opening the armpit out forward. Yeah. Ooh, breathe in. Breathe it out. One more breath in. And you come up. Nice. Okay, bring us across the timing. Oh, good timing, nearly 20 minutes. Okay, bring our feet, uh, bend the knees, feet flat. You can lift the hips up. Reverse table, oh boy, sorry, it's for reverse table. So it's, if it's comfortable for your neck, you're gonna bring your chin back, open up, opening up the throat, otherwise you can look forward. Yeah, make the front of the pelvis up towards your belly button, take a full breath in. Yeah, whew. Down. I know we've done, aren't we? Yes, we did come with Let's uh, lie on your back and let's get, uh, let's just do one back bend. Let's do a bridge pose. Lifting the hips up. Feel this uh, hip distance apart. Whew, and then you lift the hips up. There you go. Good. Make sure your feet is at 12 o'clock. Uh, and then if it's there for you, you're going to interlace the hands underneath your back. Or you can just have your hands flat, palms flat on the ground. Okay, you're going to reach your knees forward away from your uh, belly button. Okay, and then the front of the belly is up towards the chest. Press the shoulders, shoulder blades down onto the mat. Take a full breath in. Yeah, press your feet down, lift the hips up higher. Yeah, squeeze the butt. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're going to do one. We're going to stay here for five more breaths. Yeah, you got this. Squeeze the butt. Squeeze the upper shins towards the midline. Yeah, get your hands are in the lace. In place them. Press the knuckles towards your toes. Yeah, breathe in. Yeah, breathe out. One more breath in. Yeah, and then come down, hips down. And bring the soles of your feet together. Yeah. Butterfly. Breathe in. Breathe out. Simple twist, bring your right knee to your chest and then drop the right knee over to the left. Oh, and then you want to make sure both shoulders stay on the mat. So your right arm is either going to stretch out from you, away from you, or you can cactus the arm. Yeah, both shoulders on the mat. Towards the mat. And then move your head right to left, up 
and down and breathe in yeah breathe out breathe in breathe out one more breath and then shavasana we did it i did it oh my god <laughs> okay no excuses like they say so we should move yeah, in Shavasana, all I want you to do is just breathe. Yeah, just focus your attention on your breath. Yeah, we're going to do a uh, particular breath pattern. We're going to breathe in for four counts and uh, breathe out for eight counts. And then we're going to do, we are going to do that uh, for five, that's the five times. Okay, as slow as you can. Alright, so right now I'm just going to relax. So legs are apart, palms are away from your hips, eyes are closed. Just exhale out slowly. And breathe in for one, two, three, four. Exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, and one more breath together. Breathe in, exhale. And you can stay here like if you have time. Let's see your shavasana. You can move and you can move whenever you want to. Otherwise, roll over to the left or to the right. Bring yourself up to a seated position. Yeah, bring your palms together, down to your heart center, and close your eyes. Breathe. Yeah, one ohm to end your practice. Breathe in. to your forehead center and acknowledge yourself for showing up with me today and I, I acknowledge you for being with me I also acknowledge myself for being in action and for, for like you know stepping up and showing up on my mat yeah, and my light honors you Namaste Thank you. Let's see here. <laughs> How's it? Yeah, if you like it, let me know and then we'll see what we can do. Uh, what I can do actually. <laughs> Thank you for watching.